Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Tiana Michelle, if you didn't already know. In today's video, I will be giving a tour of my bedroom, but before we get started, I'm not gonna cry because I've been crying for the past week. <laughs> I did want to share some organizations that you can donate to. You can donate to Minnesota Freedom Funds, Black Visions, and Reclaim the Block. I will link them down in the description box below as well as all the items that I'll be showing in my room tour today. Also remember that there are a lot of petitions going around that you can sign. We're going to go ahead and get started with the video. I really do hope you guys enjoy it and I hope that it's positive and yeah. closet in this video because I'm not finished with it and it's honestly it's not it's nothing really special <laughs> over here is where I keep all of my shoes the shoe rack fits every single pair of shoes it fits a lot of shoes I didn't really have anywhere else to put these shoes because I don't have the biggest closet and I do not put things underneath my bed. So I got this shoe rack from the container store, but I'll put out a disclaimer. My items took over a month to get here with no communication. So yeah, um, if, if you have a container store near you, I recommend just going inside and buying directly in the store or doing an in-store pickup. This is what my entrance looks like. I don't have anything there. I just keep it really clean. And over here is where I keep all of my hair products since I do film a lot of hair videos and I film almost everything in my bedroom. I felt that it would be helpful to have my products just already in my room. I got this art piece from a festival. I met this artist. Her name is Sasha Martoni on Instagram. Her name is don't touch my hair. I'll link her Instagram down in the description box. She has really beautiful art pieces. If you're interested in seeing a product haul video from me, just drop a comment down below. And over here is where I keep my trash can. For some reason, I'm kind of obsessed with bamboo, which is why I got this bamboo shelf. I also purchased this shelf from the container store. And then we have this wall over here. This is kind of messed up because I connected it with a stapler. I got this um, paper, this pretty paper from Hobby Lobby. I also got this diamond from Hobby Lobby. These lights are battery operated because I wrapped LED lights around um, the thing. I can't find it, but you can turn the light on. Like it looks different at night. I can't remember why I did this. Sometimes I like to do DIY things. I'm actually subscribed to a lot of home decor and DIY channels on YouTube. I can sit and binge watch them all day. But over here is my nightstand. Got it from West Elm. There's gonna be cords down there because that's where I keep my phone charger and it's where I plug up my light projector at night. And I try not to keep a lot of things on it. Like I have some gum back there. I have air freshener if I need to spray my room. I have a scripture here that my little sister wrote on, so we're not gonna pay attention to that 
thanks a lot. And then I have this plaque that I was given as a graduation gift when I graduated from college. And I have this lamp here. I like things that are unique and different and I've never seen a lamp like this. I got it from Wayfair and when I saw it, I just had to get it. And I also like these sorts of light bulbs. And over here is my bed. Let me back up so you can see the whole thing. Before the space above my headboard was just really bland. My room is very white and I felt like it was just too much white. I had my dream catcher already here. This dream catcher was a gift, so I don't know where it was purchased. I love these vines. I feel like it added a really nice touch to my bedroom. I got these from Amazon for about between 12 and $16. If I can find them, I'll link these down in the description box for you guys. The way that I put the vines up there, I don't know, it kind of looks like an angel to me. This is my bed. I got it from Wayfair. I'm gonna lift up. So as you can see down here, like the bed is wood. So it's gray and brown. So you have, I have my gray headboard here and it has like the buttons on it. I wanted to find a bed that was multi-toned because besides these throw pillows, I don't have two of the same anything in my bedroom. That kind of became a theme. So I had to find a way to blend in different colors and tones and make it flattering in my bedroom rather than look tacky. I got my white comforter set from Bed Bath & Beyond. I got this throw blanket from Target right before I went to college. So I don't know if they sell it anymore, but I like to have it on the edge of my bed, like kind of like messy, but like a controlled messy. I, I didn't want to have it just straight across my bed because it is white. I wanted to have it on my bed in a way that it still kind of stuck out, but had like a nice cozy feel to it. I got all three of these pillows from Home Goods. Home Goods is a really nice store to go to when you're looking for when you're looking for decor. On the side of my bed, I have this basket where I keep extra blankets. I don't remember where I got this basket from. I've had it for like eight years. And I have this rug. I love that it has the tassels on the side and the Aztec design. Blue is my favorite color. Wait. Originally, I wanted a white rug, but I ended up going with this one because it's just so different and beautiful. And I got it from Rugs USA. And I think it really goes with the aesthetic in my room. This is how it looks up close. You see, it has like these nice little designs in it. Right in front of my bed, I have my dresser. I got this dresser from overstock.com. When I saw this dresser, I just had to have it. I felt like it was absolutely perfect because again, like I said, I don't have two of the same anything in my room. So there's not really like a direct theme. So I didn't want to have one toned dresser. I didn't want to have a dresser that was just one color. I absolutely love the covers that they sell at Bath & Body Works for their air fresheners. So I have this one. It's like a little ocean type of thing. And then I have this tapestry that I got from Urban Outfitters. And then on the other side of my dresser, I have a different one. So I got both of them from Urban Outfitters. And then down here, I have a stool. That's the chair that I sit on when I'm filming and I honestly can't remember where it was purchased from. So yeah, this is how it looks directly across from my bed. I don't really watch TV. There's television shows that I like to watch, but I really don't watch TV often. I kind of have a short attention span, so. I like to keep these little backgrounds playing to create a vibe in my room. It may be a beach background, maybe a campfire. During Christmas time, shoot, it may be a Christmas tree, I don't know. It's just like a simple background that you put on YouTube, so yeah. This part of my room is what I like to call the cozy corner. <laughs> I wanted to create like multiple seating areas. 
This is my floor pillow that I got from Wayfair. For some reason, I wanted a corner of my room to be desert themed. I have this night desert tapestry that I got from Urban Outfitters. And over here, I have my faux cactus. I purchased the cactus and the stand from Amazon. These are my curtains. I got these curtains from Home Goods. They were very long, so I actually had to pin them up. They're like this sheer powder blue, and they have these like silver, almost like they kind of resemble pearls. And I feel like that's just so different. When I saw those curtains, I just had to have them. And then over here, I also have my mirror. I got this mirror from Kirkland's. It's a full body mirror. It's taller than me. I don't have any plans to move anywhere else because it's so heavy, but I love the gold detailing that it has. I think it's so pretty. Do you see it? This mirror originally was over $100. I think it was like 120, but I got it for $80. Behind me, you guys can see the hanging chair that I have. This chair was a gift from my boyfriend. He got it for me from Amazon. I will link the chair down in the description box. And it's a hanging chair. It's really comfortable. So we just have it hanging from the ceiling. I had to get extra ropes for it. I added some LED lights to the chair just to give it a nice look. He also got this throw blanket and this pillow for me from Target. Yeah, I love to come sit in the chair. I'll just put my legs up and I'll come here and chill. I like to nap in this chair. It's just so comfortable. When I sit here, I don't want to get up. At first, I was so afraid to sit in this chair because I thought my ceiling was going to fall through, but it's really sturdy. Now I don't want to get up. <laughs> See, my chair doesn't want me to get up either. That's why it's turning away from you guys. I want to take a nap. I actually got both of these frames before I even had a vanity or thought about getting one and ironically enough it fits very well in this portion of my room and I got both of them from Hobby Lobby and then I have this vanity here that I got from Amazon I don't really do my makeup so I didn't want to spend a lot of money on a vanity down at the bottom I have like this plastic drawer that keeps my jewelry um, my hair scissors, like just little tiny supplies. And then I have this tower that I got from a consignment shop. It holds like my lotions, deodorant, oils, um, makeup, all of that stuff. I also keep a fan over here to turn on in case I get hot while doing my makeup or if I'm sitting over there for any reason. I got that fan from Target and it's very strong. It keeps me nice and cool. I have this drawer here. Yeah. And the shore is nothing special. I keep like diaper wipes and then I have like nail files, clippers, my planner. I'm going to end the video here. If you enjoyed this room tour, please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Your support helps me out so much more than you know, especially as a smaller and newer channel. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.